우리에게 한층 더 다가온 혁신기술 가상현실, 메타버스, 자율주행, NFT 2022년 글로벌 테마 투자 전략 블록체인, 디지털 경제, 로보틱스 앤 인공지능 기후변화, 모빌리티, 글로벌 테마 투자 지금 시작합니다 Hi, my name is Pedro Palandrani, Director of Research at Global X ETFs. And today I want to talk about the cybersecurity theme and all the investment opportunities within. As we all know, the cybersecurity theme remains top of mind for investors and people around the world. With the, with the attack of Russia on Ukraine, we started to realize that governments also should pay attention to cybersecurity. What's important to understand here is that this cybersecurity theme from an investment standpoint is complex because we know that we need to protect our network, we need to protect internet, we need to protect our endpoint devices like smartphone and laptop, we need to protect the cloud, we need to protect identity messaging. All of these are different verticals that are being trying to be captured uh, by a variety of companies. We're also looking that some companies are starting to merge, trying to provide a one-stop solution for uh, customers, trying to address many of these cybersecurity needs. What we're seeing around the world is a rise in cyber attacks, and that's really driving the need for cybersecurity solutions. We're seeing a rise of encrypted threats, ransomware, crypto jacking, and all of this is really driving the need for a strong cybersecurity solutions. And that's just going to increase the dollar amount in spending that's going to go to cybersecurity. In fact, in 2022, it is expected that $172 billion will be spent in cybersecurity. By 2028, this number is almost going to double going to over $360 billion in spending for cybersecurity solutions. So we believe that there is a strong investment opportunity here. And as I mentioned before, the governments are paying more attention than ever to cybersecurity. In fact, in the United States, the US government is expected to spend somewhere between $1.7 and $8.7 billion in cybersecurity just coming from the infrastructure bill that passed in, in, in November of 2021. At the same time, the rise in cyber attacks that we're seeing from Russia to different organizations around the world is really creating a strong need for cybersecurity solutions, not only in the United States, but really around the world, in Europe, in Asia. And we know that more than ever, we're going to need a lot of cybersecurity solutions. It's important to understand that as emerging technologies come alive, Things like autonomous vehicles, robotic surgery, and many other uh, emerging technologies, the need for cybersecurity is always going to be there. Another trend that we're noticing in the cybersecurity theme is the MA activity. As I mentioned before, there's so many verticals in cybersecurity, and companies are now trying to address many of those solutions. We're seeing cloud companies merging with network providers to try to capture that opportunity, that one-stop solution that it's ultimately better solution for customers. At the same time, we're seeing large internet companies like Google starting to acquire many cybersecurity firms. At the same time, Cybersecurity companies are very attractive from a business model standpoint. They have very strong retention rates. They, have, they provide great visibility for investors as we can try to understand what the next patterns of user growth and revenue is going to be. And that's really very attractive from an investment point of view. So cybersecurity companies are very powerful, both from a macro standpoint and also from a micro standpoint. At the macro level, like we discussed today, there are many tailwinds that are driving the need for cybersecurity solutions. Governments, corporations, and consumers need cybersecurity solutions more than ever. At a micro level, the business model of cybersecurity companies are really going to drive a lot of strong growth opportunities. This is a theme that sits in the early majority phase of that S-shaped curve of adoption, and we believe that cybersecurity is really at that inflection point where from now on, we're going to see very rapid growth in terms of adoption of cybersecurity. With that, I want to thank you for watching today, and I hope you continue to follow the cybersecurity theme. Thank you.